Rob Shapiro from Technique Geek. Now we're going to look at dynamic lateral step down test. We're going to look for stability and look for the ability either valgus or hip, hip mobility, ankle mobility. We're going to grade it. So the first thing we do is we tell our patients, put your hands on your hips, take your leg away, and you're going to step down. I'm looking for down from the cyst. I'm looking for does anything happen here? Does anything happen that it takes his arms off? Do you find the pelvis goes up or down? If he loses that control, then I go further down. His knee has to go over his right over his second toe. Come back up, and then this leg can't just drop to the floor. It has to control and just tap and come back up. So as he goes through those, you would lose. You have a little bit of tipping, right? So you'll see a little bit in the pelvis. So you would take off a point. So anytime you see it, so if thoracic twisting is one point, hands come away is another point. Pelvic um, inability to hold is a third point. Kneecap has to go over the second toe. If it goes just medial to it, you lose a point. If it goes past the big toe, you lose two points. Or if you go and don't control it, you lose another point. So we're looking, you can lose up to two points and still be within normal limits. Two to three to four, moderate, anything above that needs, needs more additional care. So as you look at that, you can see if he has a little bit of trouble in, let's say he went for his pelvis going back and forth, everything else from my perspective, and you guys have a better view than I do, look pretty good. It might make me look at maybe, hmm, let me check out his hip a little bit more. Is there some strength issue, deficits, or something else that feeds into it? So if he lost a point, let's say, on that, he's still good, but I would still dive deeper in my go to the table, do some more objective exam, maybe true hip abduction test, maybe called a hip sit test, which is isometric testing. Take my dynamometer out and just see what the, the, what the difference is left and right. So it's a really nice way, a lateral step-down test, a really good way to test dynamic uh, stability and looking for valgus at the knee and hip. Rob Shapiro from Technique.